I'm Tiffany. I'm an artist from Brazil. I was born in 81. I grew up surrounded by nature. I live with my parents in a community where animals and people live together in the forest on top of a mountain. Art has to do with contemplating nature. We can't do art without really seeing the world. Every child does this. Every child loves painting, drawing, expressing things. The difference is some children continue doing this when they grow while others stop. I can't really say when I started painting and I just kept on doing what every child does. When I saw Tanka painting for the first time in Mongolia, I thought, now I found my path. I felt like I had no other choice but to follow it. Tanka is an art that guides you. It is for your enlightenment, your own sacred aspect. Freedom is discipline. Through discipline, being master of your own emotions, you are master of yourself. That's the biggest freedom. It was the discipline of Tanka painting that gave me the path to now express my modern expressionist art with a vision. I couldn't do one without the other. Mystic Nostalgia is a series of paintings that um, shows what we are nostalgic about. It's something very old from ourselves that we don't know how to name it. It's like a divine piece of ourselves that we lost. Most of the paintings you see a female figure and she finds herself in different identities, in different situations. There is one called Indestructible Heart, which is a kind of a healer and there she protects the heart she holds the red heart in the heart you see the Buddhist symbol of a dorji which means uh, the truth which is indestructible on her feet there is a deer showing that her base is compassion forgiveness my path is an open space it is about those moments when we ask ourselves uh, what is my path, like when we, we feel lost. A big open space, earth and sky, where everything could be manifested. And that is the path. It's just an open space where you can make your dance. It's nothing really there to attain. Mother and son, the mother sits next to her son and she watches this big landscape and she's not afraid, it's colorless but she's stable because the protection she feels she needs to give to the sun it's also the strength she attains by being protective so this is the mother taming the horse, taming like the horse is the ego and the ego likes to be wild like a horse we understand freedom sometimes as just following passions and following our emotions just the way it comes and when we see we just lost control. So real freedom is when we gain discipline, when we become master of this horse. So this is taming the horse, taming the ego. Trust is about we are in life and we go through many experiences and heartbreaks and we ask ourselves how can I trust? But trust is about trusting your own strength when you just close your eyes, you stop your mind and you just believe in your heart, follow your heart, just believe in your stronger self. This is trust. Taming the tamed horse even when the horse is already tamed, you still have to keep under control because the nature of a horse is wild, is to, to run, is to jump, is to, to feel the wind. But 
if you want to ride the horse you have always to keep under your control this is like how we should with wisdom have our horse on hold <laughs>